Okay, YouTube, it's Saturday, January 23rd. It's not as cold as the last video I did, but we've gotten some more snow. We had a, well, what they called a snowstorm move through. And we didn't get as much snow as they predicted, at least not in this part there. I think some areas southeast of us got hit pretty hard with like almost 14 inches, but really we only got like I think we only got like four on top of what was already on the ground from my last video it never thawed out it got severely cold but I'm gonna do a short I'm gonna do two videos today only I'm only going to upload one per week though so this is for will actually be uploaded next Friday and I told y'all I was wanting to do a video on the old oil furnace and how I make it use waste oil. I don't use all waste oil. I mix it with diesel or furnace oil, number two furnace oil, which is basically pretty close to the same thing. It might be exactly the same thing, except furnace oil has got red dye in it. But um, actually last week, I didn't get to work on the power stroke because I had to do some repairs to this furnace. This, uh, I guess you call it the exhaust outlet box. That's where the fire comes out of the uh, firebox or heat exchanger. Actually, the firebox is down here. The heat exchanger is up here, and the exhaust from the firebox comes out of a hole underneath this piece here, which I had to make, and that's what I had to make last week, into the exhaust and out through the roof. And uh, last week, I noticed that it was getting extremely cold. We had some single digit temperatures while I did this, actually last weekend. Uh, this piece here had rotted away and I got some stainless steel. It was scrap from work in a scrap bin. And um, I had to weld me up a new box. The welding looks like crap, I know. I've, I had some uh, 30 thousandths diameter stainless steel welding wire for my MIG welder, and which is a bit heavy. And um, plus I didn't use straight argon, I used my argon CO2 mix because this is just going to be a fire box. It's going to turn color after some use. So it's not something that really matters if you make it pretty or not. And, uh, and like I said, my, my welder was, if I took the time to uh, play with it, I probably could, could have gotten some better welds, but it didn't matter on this. So anyway, I had to make that and I pretty much, I pretty much spent the whole weekend fabricating that. It was so cold. I didn't make a video on it because, like I said, dealing with the cold weather, I was running back and forth from the garage and in here, fitting this up one piece at a time, then taking it back in there, clamping it together, tack welding it, and uh, it was just not a good situation to be making a video. But further improvements I do need to make, something I've noticed since I do occasionally use waste oil in this furnace is that it does burn harder, which is probably why the old original firebox finally burned out, but this stainless steel will hold up. That's what they use in actual waste oil furnaces, stainless heat exchanger and all that. So far the heat exchanger is holding up good on this. I think it is made out of stainless. Uh, this here, I need to order some stainless pipe. It's like $29 for a two foot length. Kind of expensive, but I'd say it would last forever. Also need to move this draft up higher. And I'll show you explain that later. But this is just cheap old, um, probably, this is probably the exhaust tubing or pipe meant for uh, like water heaters, maybe a propane or a natural gas power, which burns kind of hot, but not as hot as oil. So I need to upgrade the stainless on this so I don't have to fool with it anymore. Now to what I was talking about, I told you I burn not a lot, of waste oil in it but I do burn waste oil in it and here's how I make it do it I didn't do it make any modifications to the burner the burner will ignite it provided that the waste oil is a decent temperature and as you can see I got the big 250 gallon tank right now I don't have any waste oil in it at all I've got all diesel fuel I got about a hundred gallons more like 95 you can see that I just pour it in here and we got a redneck set up to well, I just buy my diesel fuel from the gas station, the fuel station, and I set my big jug up here. Here's a can here, and I have an electric fuel pump someone gave me that is off a mid-2000s Ford diesel. Not exactly sure what it's off of. It was free. Gave it to me brand new. Got it wired to the toggle switch. A little battery sitting up here, and I just set my can right here when I want to add some fuel to it. Stick to this, if you can see it. 
just down in there and then I hit the fuel switch and the reason I went to that trouble is it's hard to stand up on this bucket as high as this tank is and uh, hold five gallon five gallons of diesel fuel in there and pour it in without spilling it your arms get really shaky at least mine do I'm not a bodybuilder <laughs> for sure but um, that's how I get my fuel in it, and as far as the waste oil goes, I just pour the waste oil in here and mix it with everything. That way it gets thinned out. To strain it, as you can see, I got a funnel with an old rag just taped around it, and it strains any junk that comes out of the bottom of my oil drain cans. As you can see, some junk gets in there. I don't know where a lot of that stuff come from, but um, not on my engines for sure. Just crap that's in my cans and all kinds of junk gets poured into and um, and this five gallon bucket here what it's for it kind of serves a purpose when using waste oil now when the temperature is around 50 degrees maybe even 40 degrees or higher that waste oil will ignite just fine you might get one little puff of smoke when it first lights but once it lights, this thing burns it clean. You can go outside and watch it burn, and there's nothing but just heat coming out of the exhaust. So it burns the waste oil once it starts burning efficiently, good and clean. But when it gets cold, the waste oil gets thick, and it doesn't want to ignite. So if I come out here on a 10-degree day, and let's say I got 20 gallons of uh, waste oil in the bottom of this tank, and it will go to the bottom when you have it half full of diesel. Waste oil is heavier than diesel and it goes to the bottom and uh, like I said when it gets 10, 20, maybe even 30 degrees it can be a problem to get it to ignite. So what I do is when it is that cold and I do have waste oil in it I shut this valve off which is the valve that drains the tank into the filter and I turn this valve on it's off right now and what is in here it's just clean diesel fuel. Sometimes I put kerosene in it. And that's another reason I need to raise this up. I mean, there's not fire belching out. I haven't had a problem, but I may get some uh, criticism on that. That is kind of close to the exhaust, and I don't really like it either. But uh, like I said, as long as everything's working fine, I'm usually out here when I start it up. So if anything's going wrong, I'm gonna shut it right back off. I don't leave it running unattended. I'm always out in the garage working. But anyway, I was getting off the subject when this is turned on that brings clean fuel in there and I get it the furnace ignited and warmed up and after it runs for maybe five or ten minutes I shut this off turn that back on and my waste oil comes out and by then it's warm enough in here so that when the thermostat shuts the furnace on and off it reignites and also if you see this this is a magnetic oil pan heater little idea I had I just made a plate welded a bunch of thin place together because I didn't have a thick enough piece of steel and I put it in my Bridgeport mill and milled a half circle with a ball nose end mill and this magnetic heater I can plug it in and heat that line up on the super cold days that, that I really need to have a, some, some kind of help to warm that oil up but basically that's all I do to use waste oil I don't do it Rigid, religious, but excuse me, I don't do it religiously. I don't burn nothing but waste oil. Maybe if I can hopefully get started in racing again, um, I will have access to a lot of waste oil. This is a lot of guys down there changing oil right at the track. They throw it in barrels that the track provides, but uh, a few select buddies, I will tell them, hey, I'll take it. So I will be getting a lot of free fuel and then we can really test this little setup out. But right now, we're just using my own waste oil out of all, what little I have around here. Well, I've got quite a few toys, but um, it's good enough for me to get rid of my waste oil without having to drop it off somewhere and sign a sheet of paper and all that crap. And it's free heat. But that is how I burn waste oil in my oil furnace. Hopefully that all made sense. I'm trying to improve my explaining of things when I do my videos. So, um, the next video I'm going to make, which will be posted a week after this video will be posted, is uh, I had a problem with my generator. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And hopefully we can get all these other projects out of the way and get back on the power stroke. Seems like every week I say, 
I'm going to get back on a power stroke next week after this and then something else comes up. So, might as well make videos on all the stuff that gets in the way of that. Thanks for watching.